Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, so I clearly have no makeup on today. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I have gone through a lot of makeup phases and I'd say about a year and a half ago, I was really into like a lot of makeup. I was like feeling the makeup game and lately I have, I don't wanna say kind of been the opposite because I still wear a good amount of makeup but not even close to the amount of makeup I was wearing like a year and a half ago. And I noticed the other day that I've kind of been in this like routine of doing um, the same fast makeup really regularly lately. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna show them what I've been up to. Um, there's actually one product, super random product, that I have been literally so in love with lately. It's like this company made my dream product. So I feel obliged to tell you about it. So um, I'm gonna tell you about it when we get to that point in the video too. But um, yeah, pretty straightforward. I'm wearing my little big town happy people tee. And um, yeah, let's do this. All right, so my foundation routine has been kind of strange lately because I have been given a lot of foundations lately. I went to that trip with Inglot a couple months ago and picked up some foundations. I bought a foundation recently. So um, I have been kind of all over the place with foundations and I feel like my skin actually changes color too. I know that's super common, but I'm um, just throwing it out there. So today, I feel, well, okay, the point of me saying that is every day it's kind of a little bit of a gamble when I put my foundation on. So the colors that I'm mixing today are this Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. This is like an oldie for me in terms of this foundation, not necessarily this color, but I've been using this foundation on and off for years and years. And then I actually picked up at Sephora the Fenty Beauty Foundation, which is honestly just because companies send out foundations so often. This is the first foundation I've purchased in a while and I was like dying to try it because people talk about it so much. And um, I definitely picked a color that I have to mix with because it's like super neutral, I guess you'd say. I don't even really know how to word that. It's so like, Pasty, I have to mix it with something, um, which is funny because this is actually the neutral color. So we'll see how this goes. This is fairly light neutral, and this is it just says the color is 150. So hopefully that's correct. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix a little bit. I will put on a little bit of um, primer, and this is my, my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. So I'm gonna put a little bit on. This is supposed to be color correcting. Um, I'm not super red right now, but I like it. And you'll see if you've never watched me do my makeup and videos, uh, yeah, I use my fingers for so many things. So I'm gonna do that. So now I'm gonna mix the two foundations. So I don't use, I don't think I use that much. I use about this much of the Tarte foundation and the same amount, maybe a little less of the Fenty foundation, just like that. And this I realize is kind of weird that I mix like not only colors, but also like brands and types of foundations. I do this all the time. Sometimes it serves me. Sometimes I end up looking crazy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna rub it in my skin. Even after all of these years, doing my makeup while trying to film on camera is still hard for me. I feel like I've never developed like a proper setup, but your girl's trying. So yeah, I feel like it hardly looks like I've put anything on and um, I like that, especially lately. So then I'm gonna go in with my concealers and the two concealers that I've been using lately, one is of course Tarte again, this is their fair color um, and I'm using this, I think this is their creaseless cream concealer, oh no it's their shape tape, that's what this is called. And I'm gonna be using this under my eyes, literally the tiniest amount because it is so opaque and it is so white. And then I'm gonna be using the Anastasia um, concealer in number one. I've been using this stuff for so long, it lasts forever on any like discoloration that I wanna cover up on my cheeks, any breakouts or scars. I actually don't have any breakouts right now, um, but I do have hyperpigmentation I wanna cover up. So I'm gonna start with the Tarte. And literally this is such a tiny amount that I'm going to use. I mean, I'm like dabbing off all the extra and I'm literally just gonna like dot, 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 dot. It looks like I'm not using a tiny amount because it is so opaque but I am like hardly touching it. Then I take my Anastasia concealer, Anastasia, Anastasia. If anyone knows exactly how you're supposed to say that, 
feel free to let me know. And I'm gonna do that on my cheeks, which is where I have most of my discoloration. Go out a little down here too, so it's not so white. There's not a whole lot of like, I was gonna say rhyme or reason to the way I do makeup. That's not true. I just feel like I don't have like super uh, specific by the book technique that I do. And then I already pre-washed and wet a, um, it's not a beauty blender, it's actually Tarte's version of beauty blender. And then I'm going to blend in all of my concealers. By the way, to anyone that's wondering, I'm currently diffusing orange, lavender, and peppermint, and it smells good. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go over um, the concealer that I added on my cheek. I'm just kind of dabbing it to help it melt in more. So I let my wet makeup dry, and while it's drying, I will typically like put on the shirt that I wanna wear for the day, I will do whatever I wanna do to my hair, and once that's dry, then I'll move on to the powder part of my makeup. And if you didn't know this, the reason why I wait and why you might see other YouTubers wait, although if you've heard this before or you've seen that on other YouTubers, you probably heard them mention it, if you wait for the wet part to dry first, you um, can kind of prevent a cakier look on your face, so it's not like dry product clinging to wet product, if that makes sense. So I I'm going to go let this dry, put on some deodorant, and change my shirt. I'll be right back. All right, so I changed into the world's most comfortable jeans. They're literally so comfortable. I showed them in my Nordstrom haul. They're the Madewell jeans that kind of like flare out at the bottom. I seriously think they're the most comfortable jeans in my closet, and they're so cute. And then I changed into this top from Citizen and Darling, which is a um, like a charitable t-shirt company. And it's so cute, the fit, the color. And let's see if I can show you guys the back. Cute, huh? Wow, that took a lot of work and a lot of squatting effort on my bed. Whew, but I did it, people, I did it. Now that my face is dry, I'm gonna move on to powder and the powder that I have been using for the last couple of months is this it cosmetics your skin but better CC plus airbrushing perfecting powder Wow that is a mouthful um, and this is oh it says illumination sheer to full coverage finishing veil it's an SPF um, 50 plus UVA and UVB so that's pretty cool even though my Tarte foundation has SPF coverage in it I do like that as you can see I have used this a lot I feel like it's been a good little um, product for me so I'm gonna take my stippling brush and swirl it in the top and I'm just gonna lightly dust it over my face as like my setting powder slash I always, it's weird, I always feel like um, adding the powder at the top like evens everything out too. All right, and then I'm gonna take my all-time favorite um, bronzer, and this is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I've been using this for years. I feel like this is the only bronzer you guys have seen me use on my channel. That's not true, but probably one of like two or three. Um, I love it and I always end up completely running out of it like hitting pan going through the whole thing um, I feel like that actually was really obvious and I didn't need to say that if I've used it over and over I've obviously hit pan many times so um, I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face and I've said this a million times but I like making that three kind of motion of like carving in so really it's like a woo like that I want to say we're about done it is really hard because there's like a box that follows you around on camera to show whether you're in focus so I can't fully see but I think this is about it after that as you can see I might take my stippling brush kind of go over it just in case there's any like harsh lines I kind of want to blend out a little bit so yeah um, then I'm gonna take my the bomb Balm Springs blush and I've been wearing this blush for a couple of months now I switch from time to time but I just have found this has been a really nice like go-to blush for me I like that it's kind of like a rose but it's not it's like purpley a little dusty but not too dusty um, I've just been a fan of this color lately so take that put that on I don't know what you'd call that apples I kind of go up 
Then I'm gonna take my stippling brush and once again, kind of go over it just to kind of make sure there's not extra product, anything harsh there I don't want. And uh, yeah, so then I am moving on to my eyebrows. So I have my brows microbladed, if you didn't already know that. Um, oops, wrong side. And I went a few months ago to get them done. So if you actually wanna see that video, I will link that down below. It was a really cool experience, really, worth it because now as you're about to see it doesn't take me long to do my brows like at all I'm actually gonna scooch a little closer so you guys can see this um they're like depending on who you are they're done you know what I mean like depending on your taste but um I'm gonna fill them in just a little bit more and add a little uh You'll see, you'll see. So I'm taking this Anastasia brow powder in medium brown and I'm gonna just kind of go back and forth between the light color and the dark color. And I'm just gonna fill in areas that I feel like filling in. That's the thing too with microblading is that once you put foundation on, um, it can kind of like lighten them, whiten them out because you're literally just applying over skin that's tattooed, not on hair. So that's the other reason I like to fill it in because I feel like it just gets much lighter from the foundation and loses its shape. The cool thing is it doesn't take me long. Like it's gonna take me longer right now on camera because I'm trying to not like cover up my brows with the mirror, but it really does take me like 30 seconds to fill them in normally. And obviously, if I'm not wearing makeup, I still have um, shape to my brows, and that's what I really like about having my brows microbladed. All right, so at this point, then I like to take my Benefit Gimme Brow. I don't even know, look at how used up this package is. I don't even know the coloring. I don't know, wait, is that a color? No, I literally don't know what color this is. Unfortunately, the packaging has worn out. I hate when makeup does that in your makeup bag because then you're like, well, what was this? Like, what color was it? What if I want to repurchase? But um, I don't know. It was probably in the ballpark of like four or five or six, but I honestly could be making that up. I don't remember. But this is a colored brow gel. Um, it's got little fibers in it too. And I kind of feel the same way about this that I feel about like facial setting powder. I feel like it just helps blend everything together and put it, like help it stay in place, so. So wait, so the rest of the steps that I'm gonna do are like my least time consuming steps. So I can't stop reaching, and it's really just for two colors, for this um, Pixie and It's Judy Time collaboration palette. And I really do think all of the colors on this palette are beautiful. Um, I think they did a great job of picking colors. That being said, I basically never even reach for any of the colors except for these two because I've been in this like non makeup wearing mood. And what I literally do, I'm not kidding, I literally just take my finger and I swirl between the two to create this like kind of neutral, can you see that? Shimmery color. Um, but it gives a little definition and I literally just put it like on my eye, pretty much all the way up to the brow bone. Wow, the fancy life. And then I do my other eye. And I feel like this is just a really awesome, fast way to add like some definition, some light, some shimmer to my eyes, but in like the least possible amount of time. Like, because there you go, my shadow's done. So um, I have been doing that like so much lately, just those two colors. And I love it, and I'm not even close to the pan yet, so oh, that's awesome. Um, so, for mascara, I have been using the Brooklyn and Bailey mascara. If you don't know Brooklyn and Bailey, they're twin sisters here on YouTube. I've known them for years on YouTube, and um, we've done a couple of like things together, and they're just the sweetest girls. And it's actually really funny because I spoke with them at an event at CVX a few years ago, and they talked about how one of their goals was to release a mascara line and they have done it. So this is their Brooklyn and Bailey Lash Next Door, Lash Next Door Mascara, um, and dude, I really like it. Um, it's interesting, because it's buildable, you'll see, but I think at a certain point, if you're not a clump fan, like, you have to stop, because it'll keep going, 
but you're just gonna be building clumps. So I'll show you though. I don't feel like it flakes, you know, on my face throughout the day. And that's about where I would call it quits and move on to the other eye. So I'm gonna come in closer for you to see. Hmm. Hmm. So yeah, yeah, I like it. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. I'm gonna go ahead and do my second eye. So um, now I'm gonna take my highlighter and for the last few months I had been using the JLo Inglot highlighter and I really, really like it, but recently I have come back again to my The Bomb Mary Luminizer highlighter. It's a very, um, subtle highlighter so the JLo Inglot highlighter is like super duper in your face which you know that's what I would expect of JLo and I really like it like I said but I've just been drawn to this again within the last like I don't even know a few weeks maybe so I'm gonna go ahead and use my fan brush and put that on the top of my cheekbones and then I'm taking my wet beauty blender and I'm gonna go on top and kind of dab it to help it look less like it's just been like brushed onto my skin and more in the words of Nicole Guerrero like it's coming from within there we go then I'm gonna take my Urban Decay all-nighter spray and this is just a setting spray to help your makeup stay longer shake that up Give it a nice little spray on my face. And then while that is setting, ooh, every time I breathe in, I'm like, <laughs> don't breathe in the misting spray. Um, I'm gonna take my super janky bottle of Mint Juleps Lip Scrub by Lush. And we're actually about to get into the part that I mentioned is like my new favorite product, but I gotta scrub my lips first because it's a lip product. So I'm gonna scrub these off. And this not only gets rid of my dry skin, but any makeup that I got on my lips too. I feel like I've been looking in the viewfinder the whole time. Sorry if that's true. It's hard to do your makeup in front of the camera. You're always like, D am I sitting in the right place? Did I do it right? I'm gonna wipe this off, BRB. All right, peeps, we are now on to the most exciting part of the video. Okay, so I get a lot of PR packages from companies that will just like send me products to try um, or whatever, giveaway, all of that. And a lot of the stuff I get just doesn't work for me or I'm like, when am I ever gonna be able to try this? Like I'm not a full on beauty review channel. But some products, because I obviously do use a lot of beauty products, make its way into me trying and make its way into my collection. And Urban Decay sent over a box of these new products called Low and Fi Lip Mousse. And literally, I'm keeping every single color because I opened it and I was like, this is like someone made my dream product. Like, I'm so excited about this. Um, basically, they look like eyeshadows, like this, like they're just in little pots, but they're like stains. They're calling them lip mousses. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna zoom in even closer if I can, and I'm gonna show you what this does on my lips. So I'm gonna mix um, these two colors, Echo, which is right here, and then I'm gonna mix, um, mix it with wavelength, which is kind of just like a darker, more purpley version. So I'm gonna take Echo. You literally just use your finger like this. See, look at how amazing that is. That's like just a stain, matte, water resistant, long wearing, and you don't even have to have a mirror. You literally just, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of this darker purpley color wavelength just to make the color a little more fun. And you legitimately, like I'm looking in a mirror, but you don't need a mirror. Like I put this on in the movie theaters the other night in the dark because I'm one of those people that like in the movies, in church, anything, theater shows, anywhere I have to sit still, I'm constantly going through my bag because I like have to keep moving. I'm like, okay, I'm listening, but like I can't, like I fidget. And I was putting it on in the dark and when I left and looked in my phone, it was great. They actually advertise this as um, the perfectly undone lip 
and I feel like that's exactly what this is. So yeah, and if I want, um, like this is just obviously it's not moisturizing, it's just like a stain. If I want any moisturizer, I might put on some lip balm. So I'm gonna put on my Young Living Lavender Lip Balm. I love the Young Living Lip Balms. I really like their Lavender Lip Balm. I think their favorite might be my grapefruit though. Uh, I don't know, man, their Lavender Lip Balm's really good. And I just put it on and now, if you want it, you have a moisturized, hydrated, like natural looking lip. It's not natural looking, but I like that it's not like, if you're not going for like the super glossy or like super defined matte look, I think this is amazing. And I think this lip product is really great for moms too, because of the fact that you don't have to have a mirror, because of the fact that it's a undone lip. You just throw it on with your finger really quick. Um, like I said, everything I did today, took me way longer than if I was doing it off of camera. Um, the look is seriously like 10 minutes total off camera. But um, that is, that's my look. And I literally actually just changed my mind. I don't need all of those colors of that Urban Decay lip, what are these called? Low and Fi Lip Mousse. Um, I love them and I think that's why I wanna hoard them, but I really don't need all those colors. I already have other lipsticks that can be used, so I am gonna be giving away a few of those, so check the info box for the rules to win that giveaway. I'm really, like, the more I thought about it, I was like, no, I'm excited for someone to get these in their hand because it really is a really cool product and probably one of my favorites that I've gotten in the mail recently. So yeah, that is it. I'm actually gonna go film my sunglasses collection now because so many of you guys have asked for that. I will see you guys back here soon with another new video. Bye.